Hey guys, Kat Kong here with Studio Sweat and Studio Sweat On Demand here with trainer Bethany. Hey guys. Today we're here to talk about a question that we get asked all the time. Ice, Ice or heat? Yep. Which and, one? Yep. When? Well, um, and it why? is. Why? Why? Yeah, it's, <laughs> all of those are very good questions. Um, why? Because it really does help you heal, whether it be just muscle stiffness or an acute injury. So um, general rule of thumb, if uh, you have an acute injury, you're, especially if there's any inflammation, you're going to use ice. I would ice. say any injury, ice. Yeah, ice, first. ice baby, for yes. sure. Um, and then if it's any sort of just muscle stiffness or just kind of general muscle pain or soreness, that's where you're going to use heat. So let's talk about what each does. I'll talk about ice. Bethany, you take heat. Sound good? Okay. Okay. You ready to hold that? Yeah. I'm gonna no, put it on you. So no, let's no. pretend I'm Bethany not... has a knee injury. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Stinks. If she had a knee injury, we would have her put ice on. We'd have her put it on for about 20 minutes, typically three times a day, or as often as, as you can. If it's once a day, still better than nothing. Mm -hmm. um, what's going to happen when you put that cold therapy, which is what it's known as, on the inflamed area is it's going to reduce the inflammation, ideally, so it stops catching on things, and um, then your, your injury is probably going to recover more quickly. And then it can also reduce pain just mm -hmm. because it stops those nerves for work, from working really well, but that's, that's temporary. So, I mean, that's, that's the gist of it is you want to get the inflammation down and that's what ice is good for. Yeah, and whenever I've had an injury, I, I be sure to ice it. I'm diligent about it because I just figure the more I ice, the quicker I'm going to be feeling better and yep. getting back to my workouts. For sure. And um, I had someone tell me a long time ago who was a, a paramedic, you want to get ice on any injury as soon as possible. Yes. Stop what you're doing, step off the court, step off of the gym floor and go get ice on anything that feels like sharp pain or an injury. Yeah. Heat. Heat. Heat is awesome, you guys. I'm a huge fan of heat. Actually, I'm a huge fan of both. Yeah. Um, use it if you are stiff. So I've been dealing with a lot of um, neck and back pain lately. Um, it's yeah. been going on for like three or four weeks now. So I'm kind of past that ice point, but every night I'm heating it. Okay. And it really just helps to kind of loosen it up, draws blood to it, loosens that, it up. Yeah, and it helps and then, those muscles relax. And it relax, just right? helps with movement. So yeah. I've been doing that a lot. Um, and I think you can do that really anytime and all the time. Yeah. I think it's so wonderful. That's, that's a good point. So um, when you take heat and you apply it to an area, it actually promotes or encourages blood flow, which helps the muscles to relax. Whereas yes. the ice does the opposite. opposite. It tells the blood go away, mm -hmm. you know, and, mm -hmm. and so there's less blow fl blood flow to the area, which is why it can reduce inflammation. Um, yes. Another good uh, rule of thumb is, it, you know, if, if you're working out, heat sometimes before and ice after is a good way to go, so. Yeah, totally. And then there's even a therapy called um, contrast therapy where you uh, alternate back and forth between heat and ice. It's a little bit controversial, but um, a and, and topic for another day, but uh, there are a lot of um, studies that have been done that show that is the quickest way mm -hmm. to promote recovery. You said that. And that's, and that's a quick dip in one and dip in the other. Mm -hmm. um, my son's team has been doing it a lot, and literally they're jumping in an ice bath for 20, 30 seconds jumping into a heat bath That's for 20-30 seconds. Therapy, yeah. So it's, it's real quick. It's it, I think they do it maybe twice. Yeah. So it's in one, out one, in one, out one. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the players love it. So yeah. it seems to be helping. I just think um, you need to kind of figure out what works for your body yeah. and go with it. And if you're in San Diego, you can heat your hot tub up, right? Yes. And then you can jump in the freezing pool and then yes. you can jump in the hot Which tub. Which is fun and to then, do. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I, yeah. that's really It is kind of fun. So just yeah. came to me. Um, and then uh, one other thing. How long for the ice and how long for the heat if you're just doing one or the other? Uh, 20 minutes for ice, 20 minutes off, 20 on, depending on what you can kind of allot it. I say go for it. Um, just if you're doing one or the other, I mean. Yes. But 20 minutes yeah. is right. So 20 anywhere, minutes. anywhere between 15 and 30, you don't need to or nor should you do it for any longer than that. You don't need to hold an ice pack on your knee for an hour. Hours, okay. yeah. All right, so uh, hopefully that helps everybody uh, when it comes to deciding ice or heat. And for those body sculpting, fat torching workouts that I hope don't cause you any injury, <laughs> make sure you check out Studio, Studio Sweat, Sweat on, on demand. demand. Or come into Studio Sweat. Yes. Yeah.